And they're already in here. <laughs> they're already breaking stuff down. I got my mom in here. I told her to record me real quick to act like I'm doing something, but you know how it is. And action. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh -huh. oh, okay. Okay. Nuestra eh? All right, we're about to go check out this floor, this new floor that they're gonna install. Got the guy came out and take measurements while we were in there working. So he's gonna go ahead and uh, give me some prices on some floors. So I'm gonna take you guys with me so you guys can see the floor color I'm gonna install. Yo, and I just wanted to let you guys know, like, I mean, with this remodel, you know, I don't know how to do everything and whatever I don't know, I'm gonna try to learn for future reference you know what I mean like I mean for from like sh stripping down these walls and you know refinishing them up you know so the painters so the painters can come back in and and paint you know I might as well get down and dirty with that too just to just to kind of get the hang of stuff you know what I mean like for more so than anything long term you know if I ever come across another property I want to buy then I already know how to do most of the work and if I have the 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 freedom essentially to, to do it you know, if I have that extra uh, time aside that I can uh, that I can put some time aside, then I'll go ahead and you know knock it out, save myself a couple grand, you know, whatever the case, you know, because when you're investing, the most you can save is gonna be the best, you know, for your return. And uh, you know, I just wanted, I, I was just thinking about that, and you know, <laughs> I'm clowning around and saying, you know, oh, you know, some of it I'll do, some of it I I won't, right? You know, but uh, I'm gonna give it to you guys real, like. A lot of this, I'm also putting up money so that I, it can get remodeled, mainly because I don't have the time to do it. And my lease is up in, my lease is technically up by the 30th of, 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 of December. So I have a few days, this is the 26th today, and I only have a few days to get, to get, um, to get out of my new place and get into this place. So obviously I'm gonna try to work something out you know if possible with the with the other place that I'm at right now but if I can't you know I'm gonna have to try to get get going with this remodel and, and, and get it done so that I can get back in here and and be able to tattoo and, and do business out of there um, but yeah I mean the, the, the key is you know save money and if possible <laughs> you know try to try to do it as, as, as soon as possible you know just to get to get some some income you know what I mean especially when you know you're the only one bringing that that income in and, and you do have to be able to work and do other things in order for that income to come in you know when when you have other people and you know employees and stuff like that is different you know because you can just get the get get the get the place going and somebody else will run it for you with with me right now it's just it's just me and you know my wife we're, we're doing this together and uh, my brother-in-law you know and and as far as other tattoo artists it's just me right now so the whole goal right now too is to be able to remodel the whole place because I could remodel you know just for myself you know just one room and not worry about the whole thing but I might as well do it all in one shot and not worry about it you know two three four five months down the line and I got somebody interested in you know tattooing with me and now it's you know now I don't have the space available now I gotta make him wait a little longer you know so 
that's that's key right now too you know i don't want to have to wait uh you know i don't want to have to postpone some things you know later down the line because i didn't get to finish remodeling and now i have to postpone or or even stop tattooing or stop doing such and such because there's remodeling going on i might as well knock it out get it out the way so yeah you know i just like i said it's just something that kind of came across in my head i'm like well i might as well let you guys know that right now but yeah we're right now we're on our way to go check out this floor um <clears throat> it's gonna be some like vinyl planks or something like that so <clears throat> want to install that instead of carpet right now there's like those tile the tile carpet or whatever and that's just the no-no for the health inspector and i might as well make it look nice too so i'll see you guys in a bit and we are here this guy's been in business for 12 years so i might as well give the money to the to the people that are here locally and that's the way to do it i think we're gonna roll with something like this right here you know because the walls are gonna be gray the walls are gonna be gray, so I might as well roll with something that will will complement the gray. So I don't want to go with something too too brown. So we already started stripping everything down. These walls were super easy. I mean, we still had to scrape everything off the walls and stuff, but for the majority of, the, uh, uh, of it, you know, we were able to get it down to to the wall. Cause it's it's essentially just paper stuck with glue and. The whole goal is to scrape it all down. You know, we got it. We got it going. These rooms are still. The little hallway's pretty much done too. We got a mess right now. That's pretty much it. Um, this one though, this is the challenging one right here. Cause this one stays stuck really good like this this stuff right here is just hard to uh come off so we got to go around scrape it down as much as we can that way we can finish it back off and and paint it up keep you guys updated see you tomorrow bueno this is what I'm talking about right here. This stuff is a no-no. This is a no-go. Didn't work. Well, here's the update. We're able to get everything off the walls. Everything scraped off. Yes. Can you please take me out to Grandma's house? Take you to Grandma's house? Ah, uh, we'll see. I'm on my way, okay? I'm just finishing up here, and then I'm 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 heading that way. Okay. All right, baby. I love you. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. All right. Bye. Also, I almost forgot, don't forget to cop yourself a manifold sweater. It's getting a little cold outside. The winter's coming. I mean, it's already here in Michigan, so if it hasn't hit you yet, it will. Make sure you guys cop a navy blue with the orange manifold art studio. And, uh, yeah, check it out on the website, manifoldartstudio.com. Check it out. So it's a wrap for today. I mean, we scraped a lot of stuff off the walls. Doing a little bit of cleanup right now. But, um... Once that's so tomorrow we'll come back in and uh, we'll be able to uh, do a little bit more scraping on the walls just to kind of finish up and then we're gonna get the electrician here in another day or so and I think it's gonna be a wrap with that painters got to come in floor guys got to come in we're able to do quite a bit of work today um, but yeah um, I'll try to update you guys as I go you know like I said it's my first time my first official vlog so you know hopefully I'm not like being repetitive with it but you know I'm trying to give you guys you know everything you know so you guys can see 
you know, even like the business side of things, you know, not just me tattooing, because I know watching a video consistently of just tattooing can probably get repetitive, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Um, and yeah, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Appreciate the support. Thank you, guys.